Hi, I'm going to show you how you can install Microsoft SQL Server 2012 Express Edition in your Windows PC. I'm using a laptop with Windows 10 operating system. You can install this software in other Windows operating system too. Okay, start any browser. Uh, I'm going to start my Google Chrome. And now I'm going to search uh, the software to install. Which is micro Microsoft SQL Server 2012 something there. Uh, so you'll search for Microsoft SQL Server 2012 SP Express download. Uh, if you press enter, it will give you the list of um, websites, and the first one could be from Microsoft, which is saying download Microsoft SQL Server 2012 Service Pack 2. So click on that see the page to download the software it says Microsoft SQL Server 2012 Service Pack 2 so make sure you are downloading Service Pack 2 and Express Edition which is free okay so click download button and you'll see the list of available um, files to download um, which file you will download <coughs> so I would recommend you to download uh, SQL Server at ADV underscore x64 or x86 okay so which one you will download you can do a check so you can open a file browser and then you can right click on this PC and if you click on the properties it will give you information about your system so you'll see here is saying system type 64-bit operating system so and it is Windows 10 so it means that I can download um, SQL Server Advanced x64 ENUAXE so, okay so check that and it includes um, um, SQL Server with Management Studio as well as reporting services click next okay so it is now downloading you can see here so it may take a while so I wait for that the software has been downloaded uh, open it in a folder and so double click on that file close the browser we don't need that anymore and extracting okay. software has been extracted now it is automatically started to install this is installation center so click on that if you already have a previous version then you can upgrade it from 2005 or 2008 version but I'm going to install it as a new software uh, so I'm going to click new SQL Server standalone installation right so this is license term uh, click accept and next So this is feature installation screen and you can choose what you like to install or you can uncheck if you don't want to install something let me tell you a few uh, features those you may need yeah, database engine service which is very important you should think if you want to uh, create or store databases then you must need that database engine service and make sure management tools complete is checked which is useful to um, to manage your databases like creating databases, tables, etc. Click next to go to the next page. Now here uh, it is suggesting name is ten SQL Express. Keep it, but I will add twelve in front of it. 
why because in future if I install let's say 2014 or 17 or 19 then uh, I could have express edition with different name so I can identify the which version I'm going to use uh, right so SQL Express 12 is my instance name and check the location I will take the default location click next button right so here you have server configuration you can see SQL Server database engine will run automatically when you start your computer same as uh, with reporting services and SQL Server browser also but if you don't want to run any of the services automatically then you can change it uh, for example if I say I don't want to run SQL Server reporting services automatically then I can make it manual click next now this is uh, the security mode so there are two options Windows authentication mode and mixed mode security so if Windows authentication mode is uh, by default is selected but if you want you can go for mixed mode and then you can give a password for SA account but I will keep uh, Windows authentication mode and if you want you can add more users if you have multiple users using this laptop then make sure you are clicking add button and adding them here but I will go with my default admin account so click next now you have two options because I checked uh, reporting services that's why I'm getting this option so it will install and configure my reporting services automatically uh, while it is installing this software or I can say install only then I'll configure it later I suggest you to do the check the first option or it is by default selected so that it will be easy for you so if you want you can configure it later so click next button so you have to wait till it is finished software installation is completed now you can close this window click close button now uh, you can also cl close this installation center you can now check uh, you should see uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2012 and if you expand this group you'll see list of software installed and tools installed here like Visual Studio Data Tools and SQL, um, SQL Server Management Studio so click on management SQL Server Management Studio okay and this is server name which is your company name slash the instance name SQL Express 12 click the connect button and I am connected to my database SQL server I suggest you on simple configuration change if you want to um, design your table and if you want to update a, a, an existing table then you may fail if you don't do that so if you go to the tools main, main, a tools from the menu then click options and then there's a design not tab click on that tab and then you will see a, an option called prevent saving changes that require table recreation you may uncheck this and then click OK so what will happen now if you create a database and if you create a table and if you change the next data type or make a primary key or add a new column etc etc it will not fail 